Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to talk about this cool little tool that I found recently, and it's one of those things where I'm like, where have you been on my life? Why did I not know about this? So I wanted to make sure I shared it with you as soon as possible. It's called Insert Learning, and I imagine using a cool website that you like to use um, to show your students some, some great information. So you found a great website with great resources, but you want to turn it into an interactive lesson. It's amazing. Okay, so what it is, is Insert Learning, and it is a Chrome extension for your Chrome browser. So it's one of these icons up at the top, and I'll tell you, it's one right there at the end since I just um, added it recently. So when you click on it, when you're on your website, it'll pop up the tools for this extension right over here. And oh, it's, I'm already loaded and it'll have you, when you set it up, it'll have you um, log in with your Google account. So you're all set up because you're able to do a lot with this. Um, and it works with Google Classroom, works with so much. All right, so first of all, you can assign to students. So you can assign this web page, but that's not even the beginning. So, okay, so with these tools, I'm just going to go over these really fast. So there's a highlight tool. So you're on your website and you push the, the highlight icon. And I'm going to highlight something I want to be discussed or I want to point out to the students. Now, I can also click on it when it's in the highlight tool and I can change the color to green or blue. So it's yellow, green, or blue for highlighting and I can also put it in the trash. I can also, after I've highlighted it, I can add a comment um, to for my students to um, notice something. So when they click on it, they'll be able to see my comment or they can make comments too. When they have this, um, they're able to make comments as well. Um, so that's the highlight tool. Then there's an insert a sticky note and you would highlight over or hover over um, a paragraph in text and you just click on it and it's going to put a sticky note into it. It's almost like it's adding to the website. It's really crazy. So right here you could put anything like images. You can put a link to a YouTube video. So say that the I have a dream speech, let me click that out, is not here on the website. So they just have a picture, but you're like, oh, I want them to see part of the speech. Then you could put a link to the YouTube speech right there and it's going to embed the YouTube video right there on the website and they can click on it and watch it. And then you could do a little comment or, or whatever. That's just so, so cool. So that's a sticky note. You can put it right in there. Um, and then the next one is insert a question. So I click on that, click on that, and then it's going to insert you notice that it's spreading it's like putting itself right into the web page so so cool so you put in a question it also gives you a whole bunch of stems question stems to choose from which is so cool um so there's that's the question and then you can insert a discussion instead so you click on wherever you want to do that and it's going to put it right there and you just type in your question um, right there or type in your discussion prompt or something like that and then you create it and then the kids are going to see it when you want to assign it to the kids they're going to see it on that website when you assign it and provide that link um, they're going to see what you have put on this website so so cool and then under the more options you can assign to students and I'll just click on it really quick because it shows really quick um, you can assign it directly to Google Classroom, which is so cool. And it provides you a link that you can also provide. Um, and you can set up your classes with Insert Learning, or I would just use it with Google Classroom, which is so, so cool. Let me look at more options real quick. Share with teachers. Um, so if you want to create the, the lesson in the page and share it with somebody else, um, view as a student so you have a chance to see what the student's going to see when you push it out to them. You can print it and then get free months. So let's talk about that really fast. So, so many cool ways you could use this. Um, I will explain that when you go to insert learning, it's not free. You can get five lessons, but you're going to want more than that. So, um, normally I don't like paying for anything. I'm, I'm really, really cheap. Um, so I'm always looking for free stuff 
and I very rarely will pay for anything, but $40 per year, I think is not that bad. I mean, I'm not a socialist. I am. I'm definitely a capitalist. So they got to make money somehow. If you got something good and as a teacher, $40 is going to pay for itself pretty quick. Um, so I don't think the, um, if it was $40 a month, absolutely not $40 a year. Uh, I think I can handle that. So, um, it's less than four bucks a month. I think I can handle that. So I think it's, um, a pretty cool app. Um, I would just suggest you try it. Just all you have to do is go to the Chrome store. Let me show you that real quick. So you go um, to the three dots in the upper right for the, your Chrome settings, and you'll go to more tools, and then you go over to extensions. And this is where you can add extensions or see what you've got on here. To add an extension that you don't already have, we go to the little um, bars up at the upper left, and then open up the Chrome Web Store here at the bottom. And then you would do a search right here. So you would search for insert learning and it pops up right here. Now I already have it. If you don't have it, you would, that's where you would click to add it. Um, and it is a free extension. And then once you click on it, you're on a web page and then just start playing with it. Um, so I just wanted to share the, the fun stuff with you. If you have any questions, let me know. Let's play with it together. And um, I'm just excited about how you can use this in your classroom. So let me know.